Hey guys, Anthrolog here, and it's finally time for part 3 of the Ultimate Silent X99 Workstation. So if you didn't watch the other two episodes, you can click here and here to see them. And they're just episode 1 and 2 of this series. Number 1 was talking about the parts and why I chose them. Number 2 talking about um, how I built the computer. And number three is all about how the computer turned out and how it performs in real life. So to recap, the PC has a Core i7-5820K 6-core processor, an ASUS X99 Deluxe motherboard, 16 gigabytes of RAM, one, one terabyte hard drive, um, two SSDs, one crucial 256 gig SSD, and one Kingston 240 gig SSD that I use for editing because it is very fast and it also looks great, not to mention that. Um, and finally, I have a GTX 750 Ti. Wait, what? Well, actually, if you remembered in the last episodes, I was using a GTX 760, but the reason I switched back to the 750 Ti is number one, because I already had it on hand, but the main reason was because the 760 was way too loud and I just really didn't like it. It had two very loud fans. I was using the ACX cooler and I realized that I might as well go for the more efficient Maxwell chips. And even if the 750Ti didn't have that zero decibel fan cooling, I might as well just save some money and go with the GPU that I already had and then upgrade in the future to something like an R9 380 or a GTX 960 or 970. So that's the reason why I chose the GTX 750Ti. Um, I just reused it from the last build. So now that we've gone over the specs, they look really nice, but how does the computer actually perform in real world testing? Now remember that I built this computer purely for editing videos and browsing the web. And this is very important to me as that's what I do. And while I don't game a lot, I do do that occasionally. So let's talk about video editing first. For Adobe Premiere on 1080p, it takes about 10 minutes to render a 10 minute video which means it's about real time, and that's with a little bit of color correction, um, some LUTs, and also a little bit of warp stabilizer, which is pretty intensive. So that's a very, very good render time, and cutting down from about two hours on my PC that I had before that, that was a great improvement. And for 4K, it's about twice that time. So if it was a 10 minute video, it would take 20 minutes to render. Same thing with a little warp stabilizer, color effects, and also loops or LUTs. Um, so yeah, those are the render times. They're pretty good and definitely much improved from my old PC. So what about for After Effects? Well, After Effects actually fared really well, better than I had imagined. And one thing I noticed is that you do need a lot of RAM for After Effects because I had 16 gigabytes of RAM in my system and After Effects took 15.9, but I don't have money for 32 gigs and 16 gigs still performed fairly well. Um, if it has a two minute video with basic motion effects, then it would take about three minutes to render, which is pretty good and definitely well within the needs of my use. And since I don't use After Effects a lot, it's not a big time hogger that will take up my time like Premiere. So overall, I'm really happy with the rendering results both in Premiere and After Effects of this computer. So while I'm not a very good gamer, I do like to play a little bit of Call of Duty with my friends from time to time. And for that, I use the GTX 750 Ti. It works well for me. It's very affordable at $150. And overall, it's just great. I can play 1080p games um, at medium to high settings. And overall, that's just all I need for myself. I'm not a hardcore gamer. I don't need 120 frames per second. I don't play on 4K. So the GTX 750 Ti is a very cheap, affordable option that works for what my needs are. So in conclusion, I'm really happy with this PC build. It's my first PC build that I made for myself. And yeah, this is the first PC that I've actually owned myself. I love it, it performs well, it's great. And overall, I really do like this PC. Anyways guys, if you like this video, be sure to hit like. If you disliked it, tell me why in the comments below. And also subscribe for more content like this if you like what you see on this channel. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.